Hello, my name is Megan, and I'll be walking you through this Learn to Monetize More video tutorial. Today, we're going to take some time to talk about line item priority types and how each type is implemented in DFP. There are variations amongst DFP line item priority types, and it's important to understand the differences between each. We're now going to teach you those differences and how to expertly apply them depending on your optimization goals. Let's begin. Let's first log into our DFP account and navigate to the Delivery tab. Once there, we'll create a new order. Below our new order, we can then scroll down to the line item area where we see a setting labeled Type. This is our line item priority type, which is our set of instructions to DFP on how to deliver the ads in this line item. As you can see in the drop-down menu, there are a number of priority types, all of which we'll explain here. Our first priority type is Sponsorship. These are the line items with the highest delivery priority as they deliver as fast as possible and override any line item of lower priority. Its priority level is 4. This is also guaranteed inventory. In other words, these ads will fill to whatever percentage the advertiser requested, meaning they take precedence over other priority types until that commitment is met. A fixed placement or direct buy campaign will often assume this priority as publishers will guarantee a certain percentage of impressions to the advertiser. Because these impressions are guaranteed and may override competing ads, campaigns at a sponsorship priority are usually sold at a premium. The next priority is Standard. This is the default type in DFP and is one step below sponsorship, having a priority level of 8. This can also be guaranteed inventory, but is sold by volume of impressions rather than by percentage. These campaigns tend to have a specific start time and end time. This priority also has a normal or high option so that if the line item competes against another standard line item, the line item at high will fill more quickly than line items at normal. Our next type is Network. This is the line item type that is meant to traffic your ad networks and carries a priority level of 12. This specifies percentage of remaining impressions to deliver once all guaranteed line items, sponsorship and standard, have achieved their delivery goals. As a result, this inventory is non-guaranteed. These line items will, however, continue to deliver simultaneously with guaranteed line items as long as DFP projects that the guaranteed line items are performing at a rate that will reach their goals. The bulk priority type is yet another priority at level 12. Bulk is similar to network, though instead of working on a percentage of impressions, it works on a fixed quantity of impressions. Bulk delivers evenly by default and is non-guaranteed like network. It's also a useful line item type for ad networks. Price priority is also a very useful type of line item for ad networks and operates at priority level 12. At Monetize More, we set up the majority of third-party networks for our clients at price priority. As the name suggests, these line items win on price. If the line item can pay higher than everybody else, it wins the impression. Note, however, that price priority is also non-guaranteed, meaning that guaranteed line items take precedence if they have not fulfilled their goals. Price priority line items are typically set with unlimited impressions. The next and perhaps most important priority type is Ad Exchange, which also operates at level 12. This type is meant exclusively for Ad Exchange and is the priority type that enables dynamic allocation. Consequently, this priority type will only appear if you have connected DFP to an Ad Exchange account via the third party services feature under the Admin tab. Dynamic allocation is Google's proprietary bidding system that allows Ad Exchange to compete with other remnant inventory line items to deliver the highest price. Having access to Ad Exchange and enabling dynamic allocation is a crucial addition to your ad stack and can provide a dramatic increase to CPMs. The lowest priority type at level 14 is a house. When you want to promote your own products or services or those that you support, House line items are the most appropriate type. They are typically non-revenue generating because they have the lowest delivery priority. You can specify a percentage volume of remaining impressions. Lastly, the click tracking only option is a new line item type intended solely for tracking clicks on certain ad units or any other content you specify. These line items are not served by DFP and don't count impressions. 
That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.